Welcome back. This is the third and final video of our Holocaust Memorial representation there in Berlin. So last video we covered affecting the height of each box with a curve attractor. And this video is going to cover that height variation by referencing an image from your computer. So let's get started. What we have here is our extruded rectangles that are centered on our grid of points that we created with a, a couple series components. So what we need to do is grab an image sampler under the special tab, which is under the params tab. And the image sampler is right there. And this is the only component that we're going to use for this video, which is, it's a really simple process, but it, you can create something pretty creative. So we're going to use the our grid of points as one of the parameters, and then double click on the image sampler and just grab an image from your computer, you know, preferably a square. Okay, so what I did was I just created a, a pattern in Photoshop with a brush. I just painted black and OK, give that a try, plug it into the, the height component of our boxes. And what we should see is this pattern transposed onto the onto our grid affecting the height. And obviously it's not, not that apparent. So let's see what we have. Okay, so the X and Y domain are from 0 to 1. The problem there is our grid is 25 by 25 at 2.5 feet spaces. So that's 72.5 feet. Therefore, our, our image needs to span that distance to, to really capture the pattern. Right now, it's tiling at, at 1 foot each, at 1 foot intervals. So let's see what that does. Alright, as that loads, you can really see the pattern affect the height of the boxes and in turn creating a, a pretty interesting perspective. So the black is the, you know, it's creating this height variation and the white is creating this height variation. Now, you know, the values range from zero to one in terms of brightness, and that in turn is plugged into the Z, which you'll see right here is are a bunch of values from you know from that range. All right, so let's plug in another pattern just to really emphasize this process. And again, I did the same thing in Photoshop. I just grabbed three brushes and plopped them onto the canvas. OK. And this will be quite apparent. You'll see the, you know, the three circles forming. All right, so sort of creating a scene from signs. But it's a powerful tool, and if you look at the top view, it's just as we talked about in the first video. It's just, you know, this grid of regular boxes. But in a perspective, you can really do something interesting. And, you know, I've used this in various projects. If you look at my blog and go under, you know, it's entitled Hotel, Hotel Villa Boundaries. It's an essay I wrote, but also it's, it talks about the project, and I use this similar process for the conceptual development. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe, uh, and I'll be posting some more videos here shortly.